Hi, I'm Dr. Linda Sapinara, and welcome to Princeton Piano Teacher Studio. Today I'd like to talk about bench height. I think that most of us have learned to choose the height of the bench based on where our arms fall naturally. So in other words, we don't want to be reaching up for the keys or reaching down for them, but rather we want them at the level where our arms will fall most comfortably. And that works great, but today I want to just bring up another idea to consider in addition to that, and that is what our legs are doing. I think I can show you this most clearly with a drawing, so I'm going to switch to a different view. So this person is about to sit down to play the piano. So of course they are happy about that. Now let's say that the bench is a little bit too low. That will make the legs angle up slightly. And what happens then is the thighs jam into the hip joint here, and then the weight of the torso won't be able to pass through the sits bones as it should. What we want instead is for the bench to be at a height that allows the legs to angle down slightly. So that allows the thighs to release away from the hip joint. And then the weight of the torso can pass through the sits bones here as it should. And then we're able to balance on the sits bones as we need to while we play. So give that a try next time you sit down to play. See if your usual bench height allows the thighs to angle down slightly and therefore release away from the hips, or if the opposite is happening and they are jamming into the hip joint and causing tension there, not allowing the weight to pass through the sits bones. Feel free to let me know how that's going for you in the comments, and please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this that incorporate Alexander technique into piano playing.